While cancer treatments have evolved over the years, especially radiation, doctors have also developed techniques over the years to help reduce the risk of long-term toxicity from radiation treatments. And here to talk with us more about how radiation treatments have developed over the years is Dr. Emily Dunn from the Willamette Valley Cancer Institute and Research Center. Dr. Dunn, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. And really, just talk to us, what is radiation treatment and how does, yeah, it, how does it help? It's one of those things that it's, it's very hard to explain if you haven't been around it. So what we're treating patients with is high energy x-rays. You can't see it, you can't feel it, but it takes advantage of something that's broken in the cancer cells. They can't repair the radiation as much as non cancerous cells. Okay, and let's talk a little bit about how, um, how has radiation treatment evolved and, and kind of what are the new benefits? There's been a lot of changes in radiation, particularly over the last few decades. We used to do radiation in something we call 2D, where we used x-rays to align people up to radiation. Now we use 3D radiation, where we're using a CD, CT scan and evaluating normal tissues, the heart, the lung, what else are we targeting, how well are we targeting, and so it's, it's much more sophisticated than what it's been in the past. And I have to look down for this because the names are daunting for me, but what is hypofractionation, yeah. uh, internal radiation therapy, and breathe hold treatment, if you can touch yeah. on those. Yeah, so hypofractionation just stands for shorter radiation treatment. So there's been some studies in both Canada and Europe that have suggested we can shorten treatment. So it's usually five to six weeks for breast cancer patients standardly, but for some patients we can shorten it up to three weeks, and it's shown to be very safe with good outcomes. And so that can be offered to some patients who fit the criteria. Um, the other one is intensity modulated radiation therapy, and we say IMRT because it's so much to say, <laughs> but that's just a way to sculpt the radiation, um, more specifically for different and unusual anatomy and spare more um, normal tissue. And then the last one is breath hold, where um, patients who have left-sided breast cancers are often worried about radiation to their heart. So what we have them do is we have them take a deep breath and hold it. And for the majority of patients, that pushes the heart back and away from the radiation field, and it's a way to completely spare the heart in the majority of patients. Important. And how do you determine whether someone will benefit from radiation as opposed to like chemotherapy first? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, radiation is often used um, hand in hand with a lumpectomy, mm -hmm. um, but sometimes there are patients who have had a mastectomy or complete removal of the breast that also benefit from radiation. So it has a lot to do with their tumor stage and the type of surgery that they've been able to receive in order to before they've seen us. Okay. Are there alternatives to radiation treatment? Um, not many alternatives per se. I guess one of the alternatives would be no radiation, which for some patients who are older um, and have something called estrogen receptor positive cancer, they can actually go without radiation after a lumpectomy. And so there are, that's ma the main alternative. All right. Thank All right. you so much for yeah, joining us, Dr. You. Dunn. Very informative. Yeah, absolutely.